An Aberdeen charity which runs a social club for disabled people says its membership has plummeted since the pandemic. Future Choices is concerned that some of the most vulnerable in society are now missing out on vital friendship. Hayley Boma has more. This is the Future Choices Social Club, a weekly event for disabled people and their carers in Aberdeen. Before the pandemic, this room would have been full, but the charities say many people are still too scared to venture out. We've lost a considerable amount of people, thankfully not due to COVID, but their fear. A lot of people are scared to come back, and understandably so. They are really scared about their own health. Now we've all felt what social isolation is. It is it's nasty for your mental health. We know there's people that are isolated out there. We want to reach those people. I'm in a position that we can offer places, slots to people. Figures suggest disabled people are twice as likely to face isolation, and that those who are alone are more likely to develop mental health problems. Going into the winter, the charity is concerned that these issues could be further exacerbated. It'd be nice if they could come along and try it. It makes all the difference getting out of their homes and just coming and enjoying themselves. Yep, especially when the winter starts because it's company, it's social inclusion, which is very important. Maureen Irons is a retired Aberdeen councillor and says this club has had a big impact on her life. It's turned me into a, a different person. And although I'm disabled, I feel inside, I feel as confident as I did when I was standing up in council, pushing for something for my ward. Jim and Kathleen have been married for 63 years. Coming here gives the couple quality time together. It's absolutely first class. It's given us a great boost. The pandemic... Well, nowhere to go, sitting in four walls, uh, but now this is, it's only a few hours a week, but a few hours is heaven, man. Future Choices hope more people will come and benefit from their community, saying that everyone will get a very warm welcome. Hayley Boma, STV News.